Everybody have one? Easy. How many antennae on the ship? Okay. How about how about back down here? Two two tails, so not an antennae. Okay. May I put them on the back of your hand? Easy one. How many legs does he have? How many? How's he holding on to you? Huh? How's he holding on to you? Okay. What's what's he, what's he have on the end of each leg to hold on to? Two little claws. Okay. Now, this guy, this guy is gonna fly someday. What do you what do you see growing right there? Just put your finger in until it bites. How many? These are what we call wing pads. How many wing pads does he have? Okay. Good. Turn him upside down underwater. See what he has on his underside. Okay. He has two long antennae. And then what you're actually seeing down there, you're seeing two, two more short. Those are the parts. Those are parts of his mouth. Antennae is what he uses to feel with. The helps are what he uses to uh, to taste with. Good. Look, look, look closely on. Look closely on his head. You see two, oh, oh, the little tiny two, ones. Two, two, two. Two. Uh, two. No. Okay. But those are not antennae. Right. Okay. It just has two antennae. Two antennae. Yep. Some people, kids will say, what's he have on his back end? No, those are, those are actually tails. That's yeah. what he uses to glory on stuff. I said here, please. Okay, thank you. Here are the expectations. You can chatter all you want to, but when I clap my hands three times, Eyes open, ears open, mouth shut. Good, thank you very much. Um, two young men right here. How many antennae did your stonefly have? You thought two? Group over here, did you think four or six? Two. Okay, well, some people, some of you sharp eye folks, two big long antennae on his head. Okay, antennae are connected to this little tiny brain. This is what he uses to feel his way around at night, go to find. Little tiny things down here, if you saw those, good eyes. Uh -huh. These are actually, they're called pelts. Hey, I can use that to add outs. Anyway, this is what he used to taste with. Antennae looking like, look alike back here. Now this, are, this is tails. So two long antennae, uh, two young ladies here. How many eyes does he have? Two. Are they, where are they? Um, on the side of the head above. Sure. Exactly. They're, look right behind the base of the antennae. That's where you're going to see the eyes on this thing. Now this is an easy one. I can probably stump these two young ladies in the back though. How many legs does he have? How many legs does any insect have? Occasionally zero, but never eight. Young man here, how many claws on the end of each leg? Two claws on each, okay. Group over here. This guy is going to fly someday. How many wing pads did he have on him? Four. Where? Where were they? Wing pads. Always look for wing pads above the middle and the hind pair of legs. Two young men here. Turn your animal upside down. What do you see on this underside? Are you asking me? Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we were unsure about this one. Look at our sheet. We filled everything else out. <laughs> yes. The okay. gills. The gills on this thing looks. With the fifth grader saying, it like, looks like he has a hairy chest. And a no. uh, kid, uh, is, do you think that's it? Do you think that fuzz is there to keep his chest warm? No. Those are the gills. The interesting thing about stoneflies is that those gills are sticking right out in the water. There's no protection on them. If there's a storm washing a lot of silt into a stream or washing a lot of uh, herbicides or pesticides from a farm field, very, very uh, tender gills, they can, they can get damaged. Stoneflies, a good population of stoneflies in the stream mean you've got good, clean water. Um, what does he like to eat? Very important, these guys love to eat <coughs> dead leaves. Fall of the year, leaves fall off the trees, they collect the mats in the stream. They start to get decayed by fungi and bacteria, and the stonefly just loves to eat those dead leaves. And I've got a smaller edition of this guy. This guy's um, about a year and a half, a little bit more old. Some, three years? Is it three years? I think three, probably two, two years, two year life cycle. But sometime in, in May or June, this animal is going to climb out of the stream. The skin's going to split along the back. Animal with wings is going to pull out of that old. Chuck, 
and it's going to pump his wings full of blood. That animal there is going to turn into this guy right here. So nice, big animal. Uh, these things are very common in the Vermilion River and Hastings, uh, lots of other streams.